March 2017 in the White House. In both of those two meetings, he asked me if vaccines weren't a bad thing because he was considering a commission to look into uh, ill effects of vaccines. And, and somebody, his name is Robert Kennedy Jr., was advising him that vaccines were causing bad things. And I said, no, that's a dead end. That would be a bad thing. Don't do that. So this study involved 74 fetuses, correct? Well, I don't remember exactly how many. To turn to page 12 of the study. Yeah, 76. 76. Mm -hmm. And uh, these fetuses uh, were th all three months or older when aborted, correct? Yes. Okay. Then these were all normally developed fetuses, correct? Yes. These pieces too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Included the lung of the fetuses? Yes. Okay. Included the skin? Yes. Kidney? Yes. Spleen? Yes. Heart? Yes. And tongue? <laughs> I don't recall, but the, probably yes. And this was just one study. So I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you again. In your t entire career, how many fetuses have you worked with? Um, well, I don't remember the exact number, but uh, quite a few when we were studying them uh, originally, before we decided to use them to make vaccines. Before we decided to use them to make vaccines. Have you ever used the mentally handicapped to study an experimental vaccine? What I'm saying is I don't re recall specifically having done that, but that um, in the 1960s, it was not unusual to do that. And I, I wouldn't deny that uh, I may have done so. Okay. Uh, in that article, one of the things it says uh, is 13... Is, is one of the things it says is 13 seronegative mentally retarded children were given RA273 vaccine. Okay, well, then that's, in that case, that's what I did. Okay. Um, do you remember ever writing a, uh, to the editor of Ethics on Human Experimentation? Uh, I don't remember specifically, but I may well have. Uh, I'm going to hand you with some markers, Exhibit 43. Do you recognize uh, this letter you wrote to the editor? Yes. Okay. Is, did you write this letter? Yes. The question is whether we are to have experiments performed on fully functioning adults and on children who are potentially contributors to society or to perform initial studies in children and adults who are human in form but not in social potential. Yes. Okay. It may be objected that this question implies a Nazi philosophy, but I do not think that it is difficult to distinguish non-functioning persons from members of ethnic, racial, economic, or other groups. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, have you ever used babies of mothers in prison to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. Have you ever used individuals under cult colonial rule to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. Did you do so in the Belgian Congo? Yes. Did that experiment involve almost a million people? Well, um, well, all, all right, I, yes. Mass vaccination campaign continuing to follow, and I want you to know that CDPH is already deep in the planning stages of, by, around vaccination. We've already bought the syringes. We already know where it's going to happen. We're thinking about what that's going to be. It's all part of this plan. But also there will be a surprise outbreak, and I hope by the end of my relatively short presentation you will understand why history and the history of the last 32 years that I've been the director of NIAID will tell the next administration that there's no doubt in anyone's mind that they will be faced with the challenges that their predecessors were faced with.